A very good o'clock to all the students. Here I am Amisha, ma'am, your English grammar teacher. Today I am here to start our chapter number five, that is reflexive and relative pronouns. See, pronouns we have discussed earlier. That is those words which are used in place of noun or to avoid the repetition of noun, right? Now here I am talking of reflexive and relative pronoun. Let's talk about reflexive pronouns first. That is, reflexive pronouns always answers the question whom. Okay, whenever you question to the sentence with whom, you will get in the answer as a reflexive pronoun. Do remember that it points back to the doer of the action. How? See, here in the sentence it is written like, I have hurt myself. Here, I and myself are both the words which refers or points back to the subject or to the same person. So, here it is mentioned that reflexive pronouns points back to the doer of the action. Okay. Here, some personal pronouns are there like I, you, he, she, it. In singular, when we have to make their reflexive pronoun, it should be for I, we will say myself, for you, we will use yourself, for he, himself, for she, herself, for it, itself. Whereas in plural nouns, plural personal pronouns, we will use for we, ourselves. Okay, here we can't say ourself. We have to use ourselves. Why? Because it is plural. You, for you, if you comes under the category of plural personal pronoun, then we will form its reflexive personal pronoun by yourselves. Yourself for the single uh, personal pronoun, singular one. For the plural one, we will use yourselves. Do remember that. Similarly, for they, themselves. Okay. In first person, we'll get myself and ourselves. In second person, yourself and yourselves. Whereas in third person, himself, herself, itself in singular. Whereas themselves in plural. Also, just look to the sentence. Some are written here. I made myself some noodles. I made myself. Here, I and myself both belongs to the same person or points back to that same doer of the action. Okay. Go through the exercise which is given here, students. Now, let's talk about relative pronouns. So, relative pronouns always remember that it relates to a group of words that follows. Okay, whatever group of words is written there, it relates to a noun, to a group of words. Like, he is the man who sold me fake perfume. Here you could see man is our noun and for man only we have used who. So, relative pronoun always follow that noun. Ye bhi aap yaad rakhega. He is the man. Here man is our noun. After that only what is coming? Our relative pronoun who. So, who here symbolize for the man which is a noun. Okay. Now here in the next sentence this is the pan which father used. Here father is our again noun but you can say we are talking here of pen not of father. Ye wo pen hai jo father use karte the. So here pen for pen we are relating the pen with the relative pronoun which. Okay. After this pronoun we are using our after this noun pen we are using our relative pronoun which. Okay. So here you could see that those uh, words that relates the noun men, pen, shirt. These group of words they follow the noun. Okay. The noun to which a relative pronoun refers back to is known as antecedent. Here these uh, relative pronouns which follows after the noun they are also known as antecedents. Okay. Also go through the exercise number 4 which is based on this relative pronoun. Now let's see what is being written here. The relative pronoun who has different forms for objective and possessive case. Whom and whose. Like this is the girl who stood first. Okay. Second one, this is the girl whom everyone prays. Third one, this is the girl whose name is on everyone's lip. Sometimes who is used with a preposition. The person to whom you spoke, jisse aap baat kar rahe the, proved to be a cheat. Okay. Whom is also used for a person as object also students. The Ra S Radha Krishna is person whom I appreciate. Jin ko aap appreciate karte the most. Okay. So go through these exercises and after that your chapter is finished, completed. So do watch this video completely to understand the chapter students.